Black Ox Tools. I'm Tom. Hey, so we're, uh, we're picking up on this uh, baby bullet project here. Um, tonight we're going to do a little bit of welding and a little bit of blending on these tabs. So uh, we're going to go over to the welding table and I'll get you in a little closer and uh, we'll talk about how we're going to put these down. Uh, also, I just wanted, um, there were some comments that came through with some good questions, so uh, we'll talk about those a little bit too. So let's cruise over to the welding table and we'll get set up to uh, do a little welding on these and uh, get these suckers on there. So let's go. Okay, so uh, we're getting ready to weld these tabs on here. And um, so there was, there was a couple of good comments actually, actually uh, multiple comments about the same subject here. So I chose to make these tabs separately and attach them by welding uh, to the base. And I, several guys commented on, hey, why didn't you just make the base a little thicker uh, to start with and just mill that profile in there? Well, that's a, you know, that's a valid comment. So I just wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit. But let's, let's take a look at this and, uh, and see what that actually means, okay? So, you know, basically what we would be doing is, is removing all this material around the tab, like that, okay, down to this level here, right? Okay, well, you can see that those, those surfaces are at an angle, which isn't really a problem, but really it's kind of, you have to set it up for, um, on a rotary table or something like that, right, so that you can mill that angle. Well, and then you, you can rotate it 180 degrees and you get the same angle on the other side. Or, so you've got at least four different angle setups to do, okay, um, to catch those sides. Now that doesn't address this, this radius around here either, okay. So to do that, we'd have to, you know, plug this into a rotary table and rotate around that. So, or do that work by hand. Um, and then the other thing, and this is probably one of the bigger reasons is, remember we put this nice radius on here, right? Well, we got to do that in the machine so that it's nice and uniform all the way around. Um, that would be a sharp corner in this case now. And um, um, you would either have to go around that with a corner rounding thing or do that work by hand. So to me, you know, this is one of those uh, six of one, half a dozen of another kind of arguments here or, you know, kind of uh, discussions, right? This is one way of doing it. You could certainly mill those if you, if you wanted to. Um, in this case, this is probably more like how the actual pattern for the base was made. Um, they probably added some little, you know, glued some little blocks of wood down and just shaped them or whatever uh, and built the pattern up out of wood, uh, to, you know, to make the casting pattern. So, uh, so we're kind of doing that in metal in this case. So I chose to weld that, uh, weld these. So uh, let's get the welder going and uh, let's stick those down and then uh, we can do a little bit of blending work on them and make them look purdy. Okay. Okay. So I think we're ready. Let's get... I'm going to get some tack welds on that, then I'm going to take this fastener out, and then uh, we'll uh, go from there. I'm just going to put some little tack welds on this here. do a bunch of welding with this fastener in there because uh, uh, this is a stainless fastener and it you know with a lot of heat on it it might gall in there and uh, and get stuck in a bad way all right so let's see I got to think about this for just a second and I can always add more so I'm gonna try uh, just Using that, and uh, let's see what uh, what happens there. Maybe 
we can use that that step of our filler material. Let's see how that works. Actually looks pretty good because what we want is a little a little blend radius into that so I think that'll work fine so uh, let's do a little more here put the other one on and then uh, we'll do some hand work to, to kind of blend that all in nicely and um, while we have good access to it so uh, I'll be right back all right so ready for a little a uh, little file action here we're just gonna make these into a little radii and then kind of roll over this corner here to make that a nice smooth radius and then work our way around that um, Get a little assortment of files here, some different flavors, mostly round stuff or half round. Actually, that one's looking pretty good there. I kind of like the look of that one. Possible, possible, possible. Um, and then some other guys asked me, uh, yes, I do possess a, a file card uh, slash brush for cleaning this. Uh, um, I don't use it very often. It just depends what's stuck in there. So uh, I tend to tap the files uh, as I'm going along, but uh, I do have one. All right, so I don't know. Let's, let's, let's start with that one. Let's see what we get here. Now this is the, the meditative part, I think, of this, uh, of this project here. You know, you can spend some quality time with your, uh, with your project, right? You know, if you get a nice, reasonably smooth weld, it's not going to take you very long. You know, and we don't have to make it perfect at this point. We just have good access because this tube isn't on here right now. So, you know, we can push past. We're going to be welding the tube along here. So we'll have some work in this direction too. But, uh, you know, you just kind of work it as you go along too. I think I'm going to, ouch. So don't do that. <laughs> I should probably go get the uh, go get the other vice or the uh, the baby bullet and get a look at it kind of compare what I'm doing here too. I'll do that in a minute though. gonna bore you guys to uh, to uh, lifting your fast forward button here so uh, uh, I'll get the other vice or the, uh, the the original over here so we get a look at it and uh, and then uh, 
come back after I've done a little bit of filing here. So uh, I'll be right back. All right, so I almost think I'm uh, okay with this good right now uh, until we weld this other one on, and then we're going to blend kind of into that weld there, so that'll be a little trickier uh, uh, to do that. So that's about what I'm going to go to here. Let's see, let's get a little comparison here for you guys there. That's kind of what, uh, what we're aiming for. Now you see here that there's a there's a little curl as it goes into that so when we weld this on here we're gonna bring that weld into that and then uh, so we'll make that kind of that little transition there where we have kind of a straight angle here this has got a little a little whoop de doo there that we're gonna take care of when we weld that in there so you can see there there's a nice fillet and like I said you know the guy the pattern maker that did this you know they probably took a disc and they glued a little piece on there like that and use some wax or uh, a leather fillet or something or some kind of filler material and same thing here made that all look nice to make these patterns so uh, anyway let me do the other one and uh, we'll take a look at it after I'm done with the second one and uh, move on to the next thing actually one thing I wanted to point out that uh, that I didn't say anything about is you see I get kind of clamped in a weird way here well when you clamp a round disc like this at two points in the vise, it really wants to rotate really easily, and I want to be able to put some pressure on it this way. So if I clamp it to this block, then I can actually bear down on this. And then the other nice thing is I can just go like this when I want to work on this edge here. It's really easy to just tip it up and uh, and do that. So it's just a you know different way of holding things and uh, allows me to put a little more, more pressure on it instead of really gronking on it this way uh, in the vise uh, uh, just on two points. Anyway. The trick here is to not gouge into the floor and make a low spot at that tangency there. So you got to be a little bit careful when you're going onto the floor. Tip that up a little bit. <clears throat> Work that front some.
Well, it's time to get off the horse here. Okay. All right. Not bad. Okay, let's uh, <clears throat> do the comparison here. Both in the frame there. Alright. Alright, boys. Thanks for watching.